Thank you guys, I'll take what you're handing me. Let's bring Castle in for this interview from Mad City. Hello, welcome back, sir. Congratulations. Hello. So, I know that you are a calm, cool man of few words, but I want you to tell me, how was the energy in your guys' comms as that final nexus fell in the last game? Uh, more relieved than anything, because the game was kind of going really poorly early game. But it was like... On a, it, there was like some bit of tilt in the early game, because we sure. went for the Shen, like the, the kill of bot, and we ended up getting messed up by the Shen. And we kind of knew it was coming, but we just greeted anyway and went for it. So it was more... A, a relieving feeling than anything. I bet. And you know what? Going to game five, you guys must have been tired, exhausted. Were you guys, was there somebody on the team that was kind of trying to pick you guys up, or is it sort of a team effort to do that? Uh, I don't, I, I think someone who isn't even on the team was trying to pick us up. Someone just joined <laughs> our, our call and just started, started trying to hype us up, and the rest of us were just kind of calm about it. Well, there you go. The You've got a team cheerleader. I love it. Now, I know I was really hoping that I was going to get you actually for the interview because it really felt like these games were going back and forth on the jungle's backs. Um, did you feel that pressure on your shoulders as you were playing, or did you just play your game and it turned out in your guys' favor? Uh, so in terms of jungle, I think the, only, like, the, the fourth game, I'm I I can't believe how much of a lead he got. I kind of I literally said like this this game's over. This game's over at like level three, because <laughs> they did some stupid shit at my blue buff and like <laughs> the amount of like stupidity that I like felt from that moment just like threw through the game for me because they just like I, I don't know I just fucked it I guess. Oh. Or sorry if I can't curse. You I'm can sorry. curse, please but, curse. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, like. It was such a stupid thing to go for. I just like went for a dumb invade after that, and I didn't call for it. Like I didn't say anything. I, I don't know. I guess I was tired, so I didn't. I didn't say anything to my top laner. He could have skilled E, and they would have just lost the game there. So like, it, it really bothered. Like, not bothers me, but like, it, it's like annoying that he got a like really pop off game like that that I, I personally don't think he deserved. So, do you feel like if you could go back into that series and change something, do you think that would be one of them? Maybe cancel out this or yeah, close out the it, series it, early. Yeah, yeah, that that game ends if I use my voice because I just tell top to to go E second and they they lose the game at that fight. Well, you know what? It turned out in your favor anyway. You guys won. You're walking away with money, so that's amazing. Um, do you guys? So I know that it kind of probably just feels normal to you guys, but from the viewer standpoint, uh, the pick ban phases were just so clean and so adaptive. Every game, regardless of win or loss, you guys both both teams very flexible. Um, do you guys have a genius behind your pick ban, or is it a team effort? I mean, who's calling those shots and making those picks? In those bands uh we kind of do it as a group for the most part we don't have a specific person who does it but uh a lot of the time we actually get we kind of ruin the game and pick ban like the i think it was the <laughs> first game we didn't really have much damage or anything to deal with their comp and i just think it was a really hard comp to play against especially when we threw up baron but yeah it's kind of a group effort but i i think the drafts for us are a little bit easier because we just flex pick Syndra into Trist, <laughs> and we just uh, can first pick Seraphine on blue side if they don't ban it. And we can play Hecarim, and their jungler banned, or they banned Hecarim on blue side one game, which I didn't understand, because they could have just left Hecarim, Seraphine up, and did the same thing we did game five. Well, you know what? At the, uh, the pregame interviews, they both guys said, let the better team win, and it seems like the better team did win. So you guys were the ones that made that call instead of them. So congratulations. I mean, honestly, such clean games, even though you guys didn't sweep them, um, it was still great to watch. So what is next for Mad City? Any plans coming up? Any tournaments that you're in? Uh, I th we might be doing uh, UCL. Uh, I don't know if... Probably will do the next season of this if we can. And, yeah, I, I don't know about anything else but that. All right. I well, think Mad City has a few teams, though. And one oh, yeah. is actually in finals of PRL right now, I believe. Awesome. Well, good luck to them. Good luck to you. And we do hope to see you back um, next season. So we would love to have Mad City back in LSS Season 3. Congratulations again. Thank you. Thank you for the interview. Woo! There you have it, you guys. That is LSS.